You should have ran her through the drive through at the old Hardy's for lunch. <laughs> So, how's y'all's morning going? Ours is not off to a great start. Robert's changing the fuel filter. Old truck was low of fuel and we didn't know that this truck don't have a fuel gauge. You got your sticky tanks. Which we ain't been doing a lot of with it, so we ain't thought about it. And we'd probably be all right, but last night we come in and parked it back behind the bins and it's kind of on the slope and all the fuel ran into one tank and uh, got the sucking air in this one. So we took the filter off, put a little fuel in it, put a little fuel conditioner in it. Uh, well, Went to town, got a can of fuel put in here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get it cranked and get it to the get it to the old uh, gas station. Yeah, get it to the old fuel station. And this old truck ain't got no fuel primer where you can prime it up. Is you got the you just gotta crank it till it cranks. Up this second, I got penetrating on and not starting fluid. <laughs> that ain't gonna do it no good. This tank over here got about a quarter of a tank in it. I'm so tired of spending money this year. Every time I think I'm done spending money, I gotta spend more. But hey, at least this was a lot cheaper than the last time we bought it. Yeah. Joe was taking care of it. <laughs> you know. I shouldn't say this, but somebody commented on our post that the president had nothing to do with gas prices. And when the gas prices was going up, Biden said that. Now when gas prices are going down, how are they trying to take credit for it? Now, which one is it? Does the president have any uh, say in it or not? You can't have it both ways, guys. Democrats kind of remind me of Steve Ur Urkel when things go better, like, Did I do that?
wheel. Need to pull this guy up. He's the first one I've seen out here. There's a couple of more, but at least they ain't out in the field. What are you doing, Mr. Woolly Worm? Get off our beans. You don't belong there. Quit eating them. Quit. Quit. Come back here. Goodbye, Mr. Willy Worm. So we're out here in the field today spraying for two things. We're spraying uh, a fungicide and we're spraying for loopers, soybean loopers. They're out here in both the moth stage and the caterpillar stage. We're spraying two products. One is Lambda Psi and the other is Bifenthrin. The uh, product names are Grizzly 2 and Tundra. There are some better options to spray, but these are both products we had on the shelf. So we chose to go with them. Uh, both are standalone products. Hopefully with the combination, we will knock these loopers out as well as uh, any other insects that may be feeding on our soybeans. Power ladder. So just to give you an idea of what we're running, uh, we're running two modes of an insecticide here, which is Grizzly 2 and Tundra. Um, Grizzly's just Lambasai, and this is a Bifrithrian Tundra. We're running two modes of action on fungicide. We're running Headline SC and then Topaz. Uh, group 11 and a group 3 and then we're running master lock which is a dip position aid canopy penetration surfactant coverage spreader sticker and drift control agent so it does a little bit of it all but yeah that's what we're running on these beans insecticide fungicide and then our drift control agent the water trailers looking mighty empty Getting towards the end of the year, I took a, we had a Roundup tank and a Gramoxone tank up here. I took them off and took off for a pallet of Enlist and Liberty, and this is all we got left for getting to the end of the season. We'll have to get a tote of Gramoxone and Zidua for our wheat, though, but that'll be in October. He's out spraying. Well, if they fill out all them pods, I think there'll be some good beans. These are the 30s here. And uh, this front field here normally doesn't do as good as the others do, but there might be a chance. The only bad thing about fungicide is running over them all.
be spraying these crossways. <laughs> 